Hi there, my name's Simon Drew, and welcome to the Practical Stoic Podcast, where I give you practical Stoic advice for modern times. If you'd like to see more information about this podcast, or if you'd like to see more of my free resources, just go to my website. It's risetothegoodlife.com. But for now, I really hope that you enjoy this podcast, and if you do, then I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe on iTunes and leave a positive review so that more people can have the chance to listen to this great work. Hi there, my name's Simon Drew, and welcome to the Practical Stoic Podcast. Before I begin, I'd like to say a couple of apologies, firstly for the background noise that you might hear in this episode. I'm currently on the road, which means that I'm recording this in a motel, and so there are trucks going by and all sorts of things, so I do apologize for that. And also I'd like to apologize for being a slightly late in this episode uh, due to many busy things going on over the past couple of weeks, but I hope you'll forgive me for that. In this episode, I would like to talk to you briefly about the power of laughter. Nothing, in my view, can do more good for the human spirit than to simply sit back and laugh. Laughter is the most joyous song of the heart, an expression of the highest form. The Jewish psychologist and Nazi concentration camp survivor, Viktor Frankl, wrote the following of laughter. Quote, The attempt to develop a sense of humor and to see things in a humorous light is some kind of trick learned while mastering the art of living. End quote. We cannot truly live a good and happy life without the aid of a healthy sense of humor. It is within our nature that we should find hilarity in everyday events, and we should all do well to develop a deep love and respect for laughter. I'd like to take some advice from the Stoic philosopher Seneca. Firstly, he says the following, quote, We should make light of all things and endure them with tolerance. It is more civilized to make fun of life than to bewail it. End quote. In other words, there is little point in sitting back and complaining about how horrible life is. The beautiful and joyous thing to do is to find humor in the activities and circumstances of our lives. I'm sure that at some stage in your life, you've been in contact with a person who is chronically negative, always sharing with you how horribly wrong their life is or how many problems they have to deal with most of which are not actually problems. These people are absolutely intolerable. We must face life with a keen sense of light-heartedness. To find no humor in the activities of our lives would be madness. Seneca went on to say, quote, Bear in mind, too, that he deserves better of the human race as well, who laughs at it, than he who grieves over it, since the one allows it a fair prospect of hope, while the other stupidly laments over things he cannot hope will be put right. End quote. This is a really interesting point, because what Seneca is saying here is that the person who finds humor in life still sees hope for a better existence, while the person who complains immediately loses hope for brighter days. With a healthy dose of humor, any hardship can be made more bearable. Finally, Seneca says that, quote, All things considered, it is the mark of a greater mind not to restrain laughter than not to restrain tears, since laughter expresses the gentlest of our feelings and reckons that nothing is great or serious or even wretched in all the tappings of our existence. End quote. Many people take life far too seriously. Yes, we must be strong and purposeful on our march, but it is those who find humor and joy along the way who will be most satisfied at the finish line. Humor can also go a long way to fixing disagreements. I remember one dinner that I had with my band on board a cruise ship. One of the members had done something that didn't sit well with the rest of us. It was nothing serious, but at the dinner table the conversation became quite heated. For 20 minutes we were speaking in harsh tones to each other, struggling to find an end in this conflict. Suddenly I saw how silly and infantile it was that we were arguing over something like this, and so I began to laugh. And I didn't do a half-hearted laugh. This was a hearty, strong laugh. Soon, we were all in hysterics, realizing how stupid and unimportant it all was. Within a minute, we had all gotten some ice cream, and we were straight back to being best friends again. If it wasn't for the laughter that I had started, we may have kept on going for much longer with no resolve. 
And you know, something else that was really interesting happened once we had ended that argument with laughter. All three of us put down the defences, admitted that we were wrong, and forgave each other. Laughter was the miracle healer in this case. Because when you laugh with people, it allows them to tear down the walls that they've put up. Laughter allows people to be who they truly are, without having to feel insecure. Laughter goes a long way to allowing people to open up to you and to be present in the moment. Epictetus said that, quote, He who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at. End quote. So I'd like to challenge you to find humor in your daily life and to laugh at yourself from time to time. Look at the beauty in life and search for the hilarity in the setbacks. As you do, I know that you'll find greater joy in your day and you'll begin to see more beauty in every situation. Thank you so much for listening to this episode, and once again, I'm sorry for the background noise that may have been occurring throughout the entirety of this episode. If you'd like to get in contact with me, then please just go to my website, it's risetothegoodlife.com, and you can send me an email. Or alternatively, you can send me a message on Facebook at my page, which is Daily Stoic Quotes, or just Simon Drew. I'd also like to say a special thank you to those of you who have already reviewed the podcast. It really means a lot to me, and it's very helpful in terms of getting this show out to people who might like it just as much as you. So I hope to have you back in episode number 15, but until then, I hope that this episode has helped you on your rise to the good life. Ciao. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Practical Stoic Podcast. I really hope that it's valuable to you, and I really hope that it helps you to live a better life. If it has been valuable to you, please don't forget to subscribe on iTunes and leave a positive review. If you'd like to see more free resources, just go to my website. It's risetothegoodlife.com.